We get a lot of like supplement questions. We do. And, mm-hmm. and even understanding what a supplement is, mm-hmm. you know, you right. know, you need something, but like what, if you had to define supplement, how would you define yeah, a supplement? Yeah, that's a great question, Rebecca. So a supplement is there to enhance your current curriculum. So it's not there to replace it, mm-hmm. but it's there to add support. So it's kind it's, of like coming alongside exactly. what you're already doing. So, and let's face it, there's not a perfect curriculum or a one size fits all. So this yeah. is a way to. <laughs> add support to that curriculum. And why would you need a math supplement or a math workbook? Well, your child might be, they might have gaps or struggles that you wanna address. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There might be, uh, your program might be missing something. Mm -hmm. You might have a very focused or mastery-based program that you want to bring in more of a wider range of topics. Mm -hmm. Or you might have an online program that you just want more workbook practice. But I think with that, with you touch on the mastery aspect, right? That mastery aspect sometimes doesn't always align to a state standard. Right. And so so that could be helpful. Exactly. If they're trying to study for a standardized test, even, and you do have more of a focused program on certain Mm -hmm. concepts, that would be a great way to bring in that, um, those extra concepts. So, and as you're picking it, don't just pick up any workbook. I yeah. really we have thing. so many. We do because <laughs> every math options, supplement right. book is not created equal. It's yeah. not. So it just has different exactly. focuses. Exactly, yeah. and it's a really good idea to think about your individual child and what they need. So mm-hmm. maybe you do need to just focus on one topic, like fractions, or maybe um, a standardized aligned to standards. Yes. Or, mm-hmm. um, maybe they want they like black and white pages or they mm-hmm. need a little bit of color or you need a grade leveled book or you yeah, um you want like, daily practice or so. like these guys i know the 180 days yes are always grade leveled they are um, um and tend to page. meet standards yep. right yes yeah. 10 problems a day whereas like the daily math practice is five problems a day but it is also broken down into daily okay stuff. yeah and these ones are both more black and white right for mm-hmm. those kids that might get distracted by too yeah. much color we get some kids that are need to be ready for algebra and their parents call in and say perfect yes um we're not ready which is help. a scary place to help be. Help me. <laughs> and Basic Math Skills has a rescue program, part one and two, where you can jump in and get some of those basics down that the child needs to know. And they're very easy lessons. Oh, yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. In fact, they're... I think these should be fun as adults to do just to keep fresh on some ideas. Yeah. Plus, the publisher has the digital learning and option that's so helpful. on their website, which is free. And that's no, kind of nice, nice for some people. Yeah. And I noticed, Amber, but... that this one covers whole numbers, fractions, decimals, and percents. And this one picks up geometry, problem solving, and pre-algebra. Right. Now, this same author has also come out with the Mastering Essential mm-hmm. Math, uh, or Mastering Essentials Math Skills. And this one focuses on a wider range of topics, Right. more yeah. for like fourth, fifth grade, and then older kids. Mm-hmm. Um, but it always starts out with like a speed trail, uh, right. some helpful hints, and then some exercises you can do. Mm-hmm. So, um, So this one will focus more on um, just a wide range. That one is really in. getting yeah. them prepared for, right. for those algebra right. skills. The key twos are kind of an old favorite of some people. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. They're, I love those because they're can... just very thin little booklets that are not intimidating. I would feel comfortable <laughs> yes. just being yeah. handed to this. Right. Straightforward instruction, practice. And these are all topical, mm-hmm. right? They are. They, so they are fractions. Hone yeah. in on a certain yes. math skill. I think, yeah, there's decimals, percents, measurement. And um, then they get up into those algebra, algebra geometry, geometry mm-hmm. which is nice yeah, for the so older Yeah, so these are kids. more for older. Right. The bridge the gap is more for older. This is not a grade leveled book, but it's more for like sixth through eighth grade if they're struggling. Mm-hmm. This addresses like difficult concepts that mm-hmm. those middle school students struggle with. Yeah. And it's just a way of... Uh, you know, honing in on those and making sure they are ready for pre-algebra and algebra. Right. So every math supplement is going to kind of have its intended purpose. Mm-hmm. It is, you yeah. know, and that was something that I found. We These are new. Those are yeah. new. They're yes. new to us. Our They're the, the IXLs. I love that. Um, yeah. So IXL is that common... Um, online program it's it's a Mm -hmm. very well-known online supplement math program and so they kind of came out with some workbooks yeah they're very colorful especially in the younger years (laughs) everything's going to have colorful pictures in it and they take two different veins so the ones that you guys have are specific topics numbers and counting and fractions Mm -hmm. and then they also have grade levels so if you're trying to do that whole states aligned standards you have that option too Mm -hmm. um so the the 
state aligned or the standards aligned will go mm -hmm. up to grade eight. So oh, you can nice. really work Very on those nice. skills all the way up, up to, to, to when they need it. And then more of the topical ones are kind of going only up till about grade five oh, right okay. now to firm up that foundation, right. you mm -hmm. know, and yeah. And so you can get a little bit of anything that you need for your kid, either the topical approach, the more mm -hmm. standards and, yes. um, you know, with the inclusion of that online, which is, it's not included, but it, you mm -hmm. can have a free trial online. Mm -hmm. It can help meet the needs. And that's right. what you really want a supplement to do exactly. is to meet the needs of the student where they're at in their program. You know, and I'm glad you mentioned that it goes up through eighth grade mm -hmm. because yeah, not all of the workbooks do, but there are several like 180 days of math and yeah. Spectrum yes. mm -hmm. that they will take you all the way through eighth grade, which is very nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. to shore up those skills. Right. So you're not in that situation of, oh, we have what algebra next now? year. <laughs> right. They're not ready for that. Exactly. You know, just to keep those skills shored up right. um, for, for their math learning. And maybe paper and pencil isn't the way that your kid needs to supplement right. math. Mm -hmm. There's um, other ways. There, there yeah. are other ways. And you, Multi-sensory, some multi-sensory yeah. ways. Here. Yes, from teaching with younger kids at third and fourth grade, you find math is a door, and the everything kind of hinges on those basic math facts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Did they get subtraction and addition, and then multiplication? Asian, that That's usually the tricky right. one. Yeah. Yeah. And so we find then that they'll have some difficulties come fourth, fifth, sixth grade because they're they're stalling mm -hmm. because they're right. still want, not fast. Right, with you want it to become auto, automatic. Yeah, right? automaticity is right. that the right. fancy word for and it. And repetition <laughs> is the key to learning. And for some kids, mm -hmm. most kids, that repetition would be helpful. Mm -hmm. And in the classroom and, and at home, I did not do it as well at home, I feel like, because sometimes you're like, ah, we don't need to do mm -hmm. that. But in the classroom, I definitely saw where when I started my class out with flashcards. Yeah. Okay, you got the That's little flashcards. Yeah. Then you've got the, the big um, classroom type of flashcards that will last forever. We've got all kinds of them mm -hmm. here. And we've, we've got the um, math facts style where there's pictures. So if your child does well, right-brained. Yeah, right -brained. that's very uh, helpful. The story behind yeah. right. something. But yeah. taking, if you were to devote, let's say five minutes to before math class and just pull out your, I call it math coffee for the brain <laughs> <laughs> and get the Great brain idea. going. Let's do some flashcards yeah. and then let's follow up with um, a speed drill mm -hmm. or a time drill. <sighs> and you don't even have to time because <laughs> timing can right. cause anxiety, yeah. you know, yes, for kids. So let's, and one of my go-tos was this, uh, this little series here. It's very simple. We, you were, I was able to reproduce it. You know, we're multiplying by six and seven, then it moves to seven, mm -hmm. eight, you know, it kind of progresses, so it, it reviews mm -hmm. yeah. and, um, and and we would start out math class with um, whatever family we were working on with flashcards, then a speed drill. And, and if they didn't finish it, it's okay. That just becomes your seat work. Mm -hmm. And at home, it could be something that you're finishing up dishes or whatever. Johnny, go ahead and do work your your drill. Yeah. Let's get that mm -hmm. done. Um, double check that they're getting it because you want you want them to perfect perfectly practice, mm -hmm. right. you know, if you, if you want to be good at basketball, you have to continuously shoot. You don't just go into a game and perfect practice makes perfection yeah, in your yeah. practice. The little, yeah. and I would call them silly errors sometimes that kids would make in math because it just was a little error of the mechanics. Uh -huh. And oh, um, yes, so getting that, that all down. The time. Yeah. yeah. And, and you Very could nice. also, Hey, if you got a digital kid, we have some options for that where you, they can pick up a little, oh, it's very almost nice. like a video yeah, game electronic, to them. You know, math yeah. with multiplication. Yeah. And most of these have all four, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, even some have uh, fractions, fractions, decimals, nice. but where you could say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna go on a trip, grab your math, fun game and math can, yeah. learning can be fun and because when it becomes hard sometimes kids break down yeah and so let's back up and let's figure let's... out where it became hard and let's make that fun right mm -hmm. and then move forward and then another um another thing is the chalkboard and at home get yourself a whiteboard or even paint a chalkboard but i found that facts worked out at the board somehow magically <laughs> It, it was, I just it called just it the magic board. The it, yeah. I, and yeah. now after studying it more and even writing an article recently about it, um, that big surface, there is something to that. The draw and the mm -hmm. chalk or the marker, um, the 
the big surface, the big hand movements, and taking that multiplication problem that you're struggling with on paper, but putting it up yeah. and putting it big Sometimes that's makes it they different. Like crosses the hemispheres and brain. making yeah. connections. And if somebody's and... like, I don't get what I'm doing, and then they get on the board and go, Oh, so mm -hmm. and they can see it better. <laughs> right, it just kind of clicks for some kids. And, and you can easily do that with like any problem you mm -hmm. find from oh, sure. a workbook or a flashcard. Yeah, you know, just. Put and it it's up not on, as intimidating. The, on the board. Sometimes yeah. changing it around, letting them walk around with their flashcards right. or different things. Um, there's just so many ways that you can figure out with your child what they learn right. best mm -hmm. by. Yeah, if you have a more and, kinesthetic learner, mm -hmm. you can dribble yeah. the ball, bounce the ball back and forth. Right. Get yeah. out a box of sand and yeah. have them write it. Yeah. I, there's so many yeah. nifty things. And we've recently been hearing even uh, this Times Tales is for multiplication, and it's more of a story base. And uh, I have a sister of mine we used it recently with one of her kids struggling with multiplication, and that comes up all the time. Mm -hmm. Kids yes. struggling with mm -hmm. multiplication. Said so it clicked for him. So the story, it, it the pictures into awesome. a story. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of, of a new success. one that yeah. you might want to check yeah. out if you haven't checked that one out. Yeah. But um, those are just some some ways to get oil that hinge on the door <laughs> and get that door working for kids because right. math can be fun. Yes. But we have to get past some of our hurdles, and right. so get, the supplements, get those the workbooks. Down. And yeah. some of that reinforcement that some kids need a little extra. Right, of. and then when they do hit that higher level math, it's not as intimidating right. for them. Yeah. They right. feel prepared, right. equipped, mm -hmm. and ready yes. to, to tackle yeah. algebra equations. Exactly. <laughs> and Deanne has a video, Math RX, that's just hilarious. It's and um, and it's especially really the beginning. Helpful. And um, you have to just watch it. So trust me on that one. Go find that video and watch it. And But, but she, she addresses helps, this. She addresses this because sometimes parents will say, well, I just have to switch programs. Throw this right? away. Or, yeah. Yeah. And we kind of cringe different. slightly when people want to just throw away the math program because all of our math curriculum, they, they all have approached to that. It's a different methodology. Mm -hmm. But so. they all kind of head towards algebra. algebra. Right. Yes. But if you're on this path and you switch to this one, they might be so different there there You're will be some yes. gaps. Yeah. The, the end so, goal is the same the right. way it gets right. to right. The algebra and, and that's switching. where these come in where right yes. you know stick, maybe stick with your program mm -hmm. and add a supplement Bring in something right. Right. there's yeah. so many supplements out there we would love to know yeah. like what supplements worked for you right. oh sure you know you yeah. you might have found something that we we don't even know about that right. just it made math click for your kid mm -hmm. or made math click for you right mm -hmm. um, we would love to kind of know yeah. some of those great Share math the wealth. supplements let us know um, <laughs> in the comments Below. Yeah. yeah. And then call in. We get these emails a lot. Sometimes people think, oh, nobody else is going to ask that. But we actually mm -hmm. get emails and chats and calls that are All common to this yes. discussion. Right. And so calling us, chatting live on our website, which is such a, it's just like texting one of us. Yeah. And uh, we're not AI. We are actually real. <laughs> and real uh, we're here. And, or, or calling us and uh, this email. is what we love to do. Yeah. Yeah, so and we're, we're free and available for you to help. when you need it. Yeah. Thank you for Thank joining you. us.